It's meant to be this kind of retro future, like early 80s personal computing retro. So in that world, everything has a button. There's lots of storage, disks and cartridges and everything nests together. And uh, there's a lot of surface detail and it's a you know mixed with a little bit of Star Wars-y cruft. Let's keep it moving. It's so crazy. <laughs> a small group of us got to go visit the Lucas Museum archives and see what the props looked like in person. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Star Wars was foundational. It's what you think of when you think of like that, that grievel detail that makes everything look a little more high tech or a little, you know, more sci-fi. As a fan, it was really exciting and really a dream come true. It was also a nice kind of check-in to see what do the real things look like? How does it translate to screen and how might that inform us? Uh, so this is, uh, I just did the, uh, the last little bits you asked for. Mm -hmm. I did the, the we actually had a, a model builder build the first version of uh, the XL1 ship, you know, the way they used to do it in the old model shop, um, like at Lucas. <laughs> John Duncan built a lot of models, some of the Star Wars models. He, he's a practical model builder. Ended up being invaluable as far as developing the aesthetic of the film. It was just a general feeling of what is the right amount of complex detail to flat shapes and clean lines that has kind of informed the rest of the movie.